It's Alyssa here. I am kind of doing some stuff with our homeschooling material. I keep getting stuff in the mail that I ordered online for starting school pretty soon. So I thought I would just talk real quick about our homeschooling stuff because I know so many people are kind of struggling with the decision of whether or not they should send their kids back to school this year. So some people are, are trying out homeschooling and it's a it's kind of overwhelming. It, it really is. And I have a lot of support here in Alaska. Um, there's some really great programs, but I know not everybody does. So I just wanted to take a second to basically just tell you it's not as hard as it sounds, especially for your younger kids. Um, I don't have most of my like actual curriculum or science and history and language arts aren't here yet, but I just wanted to show you some of the more fun stuff that doesn't necessarily come across as schoolwork, but there's a lot of good, valuable things that my kids are learning and they're figuring out and enjoying through different types of materials and media. So we've got paints and pens, art books, mazes, hidden picture books. These are called Chef and Vet Academy and they kind of go into job descriptions of those things. Um, we've got Nat Geo Kids. I do have a cursive uh, book some other random things, some trivia books, some games, some puzzles, um, just some, some reading material. This is just a little bit of the stuff that we have. This is another really cool series, these, these ones right here. They're Who Was books, and they're all biographies about different um, important characters in our history. They have a bunch of these books. They're not just who was, but there are some like what was, what was... Um, the Civil Rights Movement, and what was the first Thanksgiving. So there's all types of of these types of these books, and they're really fun. Um, I've seen them at Target before, but I bought them online, and there's some really good places. Amazon carries them probably, and I can have Zach link down below to some of the resources that I use to get some materials from. They're usually cheaper than buying them at in the stores, but at least in Alaska. So that's it. I just wanted to show you some of our really fun things that we do for school. I know there's a lot of people that are kind of waffling between do we homeschool this year? Do we send our kids back to school? And some of you may even be kind of being forced into um, looking into homeschooling this year. I just want to encourage you that, you know, you can buy all these books, you can do all of these things, but you don't have to either. There's a lot of stuff you can get at the library and just your normal everyday stuff. So I just wanted to encourage you all. You can do it. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I, I'm i only two years in, but I do know a little bit more than I did when I started. So good luck. Good morning. Look at that view. It's another beautiful day here at Caribou Lodge. So we got guests here. We're going to cook them breakfast. Um, still 6.30 in the morning, so not going to be stirring and coming in for coffee for a couple more hours. But uh, yeah, we'll cook them breakfast, send them on their way. But today is not just an ordinary day. Today is a special day. I've got a little surprise for Alyssa and the girls. It's going to be good. A good friend of mine contacted me and said he wanted to surprise his wife with a trip to the lodge. And I thought that was a great idea, so we kept it a secret from our wives for about six weeks. And Alyssa didn't know until they stepped off the float plane, which was pretty cool. So our friends are still here. We're gonna dub this the Munchkin hike. We got Munchkins everywhere. Between Alyssa and I and our friends, we have six kids. And we thought today would be a good excuse to um, get them out and get some exercise. 
What do you think, Caleb? Good. Good. What do you think, Ailey? Good. Two goods? Two out of two is not bad. Okay, the, the hike started over for me. We got all the way down to the creek and Eile got a really bad grass cut. So I ran back to the house to get Band-Aid. And uh, so yeah, anyway, it's been really cool having our friends here. Uh, it's a slow summer. So instead of having some time to ourselves, it's good to catch up with people since Alyssa and I haven't been to town much. Uh, today is... I don't know. It's the last week of July and I haven't been to town since April. And so it's good to visit with people that you know, good friends and stuff. But um, Alyssa and Sarah have known each other since 2008. And they met, I don't remember if they met at church um, or at Fred Meyer, but they were both management at Fred Meyer. And uh, before Alyssa married me and Sarah married Dennis. So after they both married their husbands, Dennis and I became friends. And so yeah, known them for well over 10 years now. So it's just a little background on how we know them. We've got two kids, they've got four. So got a bunch of munchkins running around this week. All right, I'm almost back to the group with the band-aids. Okay, <sighs> say cheese. Okay, high five. High five. Are you doing Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll take a picture now. While things are slow here for the lodge business, we're just keeping up on all sorts of random chores and uh, mowing the grass once again. Have to do this every couple of weeks. Um, a big thanks to my buddy Dennis who came out and helped me mow a ton of it the other day, but still catching up. Now I'm back here uh, where the helicopter lands and by Joe and Bonnie's cabin. So I measured it the other day, well measured in time. Um, it took me six and a half hours to mow everything from the very last cabin all the way over to the campfire pit with my self-propelled mower, which goes two and a half miles per hour. So it came up to just over 16 miles of pushing the mower around here. I think we have over two acres of grass to mow. When it's really busy with guests, you have to do it in little sections because guests are here and you don't have time to mow the grass. Or I'll go out on a hike with people while Joe mows the grass while we're gone so we don't hear the mower. So it's a whole thing. So I'm really glad I had these propane cylinders flown in. They came in handy quickly. Um, when these small ones are filled right, they'll hold 14.3 gallons. And our little chest freezer here is has a little propane motor. Joe and I always keep track of our burn rate with all of our propane. And this tank lasted 44 days. On 14.3 gallons, that comes out to 0.325 gallons a day. Or another way of saying it is every three days it burns about a gallon of propane so we can't complain with that like it's works out super great and this is like the only realistic option for us to have a chest freezer out here in the middle of the wilderness except for like having a generator running all the time which isn't realistic so anyways yeah just uh getting that hooked back up really easy you light the pilot hold this down for a couple seconds and you're good to go if i can feel back here the little exhaust starts to put out a little heat there. So it's important that you don't hang any rain jackets or any cloth, any sort of fabric hangs back here over the exhaust. So awesome, we're all set. All right, so we don't have very many guests this summer, obviously, and our next guests were actually scheduled to come in in two weeks. So we were gonna kind of get into a rhythm of some family structure and Alyssa was actually starting school 
um, quite a bit early. So anyways, we get a call while I'm out mowing the grass and um, the folks at the float plane office told me that we have six day hikers coming in tomorrow. So that's a huge blessing. That's amazing amount of income, but it's just, we have to balance that family life while also keeping the house, you know, pretty close to pristine all the time, not letting the girls' toys get out of control, stuff like that. So anyways, Alyssa will get back to school probably, she might do a little bit while I'm on the hike tomorrow, but we gotta take the rest of the day today and just clean up and prep for some day hikers coming in tomorrow. So as you can see right here, while Alyssa's doing school, I was gonna activate some yeast and make some bread. So just balancing home life, school, and still running a business. I'm making, I'm making cookies. <laughs> no, you're not. Actually, what are you making? Bread. Yeah, good job. I'm just pretending. You being my big helper? Yeah. So, what are the ingredients of bread? Flour. Dried out milk. <laughs> Dried out milk, <laughs> yeah. Sugar. Nope, salt. Salt. And then what's the yummy stuff that we put in that's sweet? Honey and oil. Yeah. Good job. I'm I'm going to mm -hmm. make the dough of the cookies. Just kidding. She's pretending okay. to make cookies. I guess it makes it more fun. The Monte Brothers. <laughs> Alright, here we've got the one girl band. She's got the harmonica in her mouth, and she's got a maraca, she's got a strumstick, and a drum box. And go.